Yes, so this is the what? This is the diagram of the what? Circulatory system in human beings, in mammals, in human beings. Is that clear? This is the diagram of the circulatory system. It is not the full leveled one. But you can level it afterwards. Is that clear? So this is the heart. The heart pumps the blood. Is that clear? Whenever you're talking about the circulatory system, you talk about the heart. You talk about the what? Heart. You talk about the blood vessels. You talk about the what? Blood vessels. You talk about the blood itself. Those are the things that make up the circulatory system. Is that clear? So inside the heart, this is where the blood is what? Pumped. If you don't pump the blood, it will not move. It needs to be pumped. Like the pump in your house pumps the water that flows, is it not? So the, the heart does the pumping of the blood. So what really happens? When you get to the lungs, is the lungs, you see the left lung capillary and the what? Light lung capillary. Is it not in the lung that you breathe in oxygen, isn't it? So what your body needs is oxygen. Mostly, you understand? It also needs other things that the blood carry. So what happens is that when the heart pumps this blood, in the lung section, oxygenated blood, blood that has oxygen, is carried by the arteries. Is carried by what? Is carried by the what? Arteries. This blood vessel this side is known as the what? Arteries. Why the blood vessel this side are known as the what? Veins. Is that clear? We have two types of, three types of blood vessels. We have the what? The arteries on this side, the veins on this side, and the what? Capillaries. This capillary is where there is what? Transfer of things. Is that clear? So, the, this has pumps blood that are what? Oxygenated, and it, the artery carries it to the stomach, to other parts of the body, to the legs. Is that clear? So when it gets to the artery, that oxygen is now passed to the body. Is that clear? Now, the blood that is that has lost all its oxygen will not enter the veins. Will not enter the what? Veins. It will not enter the what? Veins. From the stomach, from the legs, from the hands and everywhere. You understand? It will enter back to the vein. And the vein will take it back to the what? Heart or the lung section. Where you will not bring it, when you bring in oxygen, Oxygen will not contaminate the blood again. You understand? It will get oxygen. Once it gets oxygen, the heart pumps it back to the what? Artery. The artery will also take it to the part of the body. Once the oxygen is finished, is being used, the blood will become a deoxygenated blood. That's blood without oxygen. It will enter back into the what? Vein. Get back to the lung section. Get more oxygen again. As you're breathing, you're taking in oxygen. Is it not? then the arteries will take it again to the various parts of the body. Is that clear? When the oxygen has finished, the blood will enter back into the vein, is it not? Get back to the lungs and get more oxygen and keep going. That's how you continue to maintain the circulation. Is that clear? So what does the heart do? It pumps the blood, isn't it? And in this lung section is where what enters the blood? Oxygen. So that's why we say that the artery carry what? Oxygenated blood. Then when the oxygen is already spent in the arteries of the, in the capillaries of the various parts of the body, like the hand, anywhere where oxygen is needed, the blood will enter back into the what? Vein. So the blood in the vein is known as what? Deoxygenated, it does not have oxygen. So to get oxygen, it has to go to the lung section, is it not? When it gets oxygen, it goes into the what? Artery and gets to the various parts of the body. Is that clear? So that is what we call the circulatory system. That's where, why we say that the arteries take blood away from the heart. You understand? And it takes what? Oxygenated blood. Whereas the veins take blood to the what? Heart. What kind of blood does it take to the heart? The oxygenated, the one that does not have oxygen. Why is it taking it there? So that it can get oxygen. Is it not? Then the oxygen is not separate, uh, separated to the body gets back and continues to Is that clear? So do you understand the circulatory system? So that's why it works. Thank you.